Hello students, welcome to my class. Today we are going into the uh, next topic of measurements which is the very basic terms that we come across is length, mass and time. These are called the fundamental units, right? So this fundamental, sorry, fundamental quantities. So these fundamental quantities, you are going to see how do we measure these fundamental quantities. For length, how we measure and for mass, how do we measure and for time, how do we measure. So we shall start with the measurement of length first. It is very common that you would have already known that length, the SU unit of length is meter and length is nothing but the distance between any two points. If I have a box say like this, I want to measure the length of this box. How do you measure? You take uh, one reference point here, other refer po reference point at the end and measure the distance between these two points as the length so length and distance are the related terms both are one and the same so distance is commonly we come across in our day-to-day -day life so this length and distance how do we measure what is the device that we use for measuring it is simply the scale the meter scale what you use for your for drawing lines all this no so you take a scale here and you'll be having the measurement scale points on the scales without with those points they would have been given one two three centimeters meters all these things right so with this you take the uh, scale at one end and you measure the length till the other end at what point it matches you uh, what what point it coincides you take that particular value as the length isn't it so this is very simple and this is for the measurement of length but there is one more thing that we have to note if it is this much distance you can take a scale you can go for this uh, normal one meter scale or something like that and you can measure the distance if it is st still larger length you can go for you will be having a tape called meter tape right you would have been uh, seen this with the tailors or something like that. So you can take that tape and you can measure. It will be somewhat flexible and will be great, uh, larger than this normal scale. So you could go for different sizes of scales and you can extend the uh, thing to measure the uh, distance as it gets larger and larger. So you know that what is the minimum value that you can measure with the scale? See, if you have a meter scale, it will be normally starting from mm. You will have the first value as mm, right? So, it is millimeter. You know, it is millimeter, which is 10 to the power minus 3 meter. And as it is a meter scale, the maximum value is 1 meter, right? So, for, for a meter scale, you, you can measure minimum of 10 to the power minus 3 and the maximum value to be 1 meter. If I suppose have some other object, say for example, a very thin thread. Okay. See, I have a thin thread. I just want to know only this distance, this thickness distance or something like that. Very smaller than this 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Any object, if I have, I want to find the distance for that particular Thing. then how can I go and measure for that so for things that is very much smaller than this 10 to the power minus 3 meter we have seen two devices which is screw gauge and the vernier caliper which will be measuring the length that is much smaller than that of 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So, when a caliper is something that uh, would measure till 10 to the power minus 4 meter, that is 10 to the power minus 3 to minus 10 to the power minus 4 only. And screw guards will be measuring still more smaller values than this 10 to the power minus 4, that is still 10 to the power minus 5 meter. Okay, only these two devices have been uh, discovered for the measuring smaller lengths. Okay, so suppose when it is larger lengths than that of the measuring instruments we have, then how can we go for the measurement of those lengths? 
say for example i have to measure the height of a tree i can measure the height of a tree with a meter scale or something but is it possible to climb the tree and have the meter scale here and hold uh, climb the tree and hold the uh, scale till the end point and go for the exact measurement of the length is it possible no not at all right so in that case what you have to go is you have to go for uh, some mathematical models which is called the triangulation method so it is triangulation method of measuring the length of that is the height of a tree okay so say for example i have a tree here i want to measure the height of this tree which is let it be h okay i cannot go as i said i cannot go over here and take a scale or some instruments or me uh, this tape and measure the height here so what i can do is from this point i am going to move a part along the road and at some point when i stand here i can clearly see the end point of the tree the topest height highest point of the tree okay so at this point i stand now and now it is possible to measure this length in the ground from the bottom of the tree to the point where i stand with a normal scale or tape okay i can measure this length and let this length be x meter this i can measure no problem and this is my height h so at some particular angle only when i stand this particular height so at this point now i am going viewing the top of the tree right so this is this makes the vision and it is i am i'm going to raise my head at some angle theta and i'm going to view the tree so this is my angle theta for this triangle so now it looks like a right angle triangle because always the tree will be in the straight line right so it is a right angle triangle now and now you have theta x and h so two sides and one theta you can relate this using the right angle triangle theorem which is see this is theta and i have one opposite side and adjacent side so opposite side by adjacent side so what is that relates theta opposite side by adjacent side it is tan theta because tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side right so it is tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side what is my opposite side here for this theta this one is the opposite side it is right straight opposite right so it is tan theta is equal to what is my opposite side h and what is my adjacent side this x so x it is x meter okay so x x is the adj adjacent side so what i have to measure actually the height of the tree so h is what i need so i have the h alone bring this x to the other side it becomes x into tan theta so this is how if you know the distance between the points and the angle in which you view the height highest point you can find the height of the tree